Welcome back to the Sunny Stampin' Studio. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to make this simple yet elegant Christmas card. Why don't we get started? First thing you're going to need is a scrap of Whisper White cardstock and one of the ornament stamps from your Delightful Decoration stamp set. We're going to be stamping this in Real Red Classic Ink. Because this is a solid image stamp, you want to make sure that you ink it up very well. So just press and twist it on your ink pad and then stamp it straight down and straight up onto your Whisper White cardstock piece. I'm now going to re-ink my stamp and stamp a second one like so. Once that's done, you can set that aside for a few minutes. I'm now going to grab a piece of Whisper White cardstock and this is 4 inches by 5 and a quarter inches. You want to sponge all the edges with Old Olive Classic Ink. Now when I'm sponging the edges and I just want a very light sponging, I hold my cardstock piece in my hand and I take my sponge, tap it onto my ink pad and then holding it See, sort of straight up and down, I just very lightly drag it along the edge of my cardstock. Now I've already gone ahead and done that on all four sides. I'm now going to grab my swirl stamp from the Baroque Motif stamp set. I'm laying it on the table in front of me face up so that I can better see as I'm inking it. Whenever the stamp is bigger than the ink pad, then I always ink it face up. So I'm just taking my old Olive Classic ink and pressing it straight up and down all over the swirl. Now I'm just going to turn this sideways so that I can see what I'm doing. And when I stamp a large stamp like this, if I'm not using a stamp -a jig, I'm sort of bent down at the edge of the table, which is why I may sound kind of funny, so that I can see where I'm placing my stamp. I'm now going to press straight down, apply some gentle pressure, and then lift straight up. And there you can see I have my swirl stamped onto my cardstock. I'm now going to grab the imaging sheet from my stamp -a jig and align it along the bottom of my card. So I'm just aligning my Whisper White cardstock onto my grid paper to make sure that it's straight. And then I'm visually aligning the um, imaging sheet from my stamp -a jig. So I'm now going to ink up my Merry Christmas stamp and this is from the For the Holidays stamp set from the Holiday Mini Catalog. And I'm going to stamp it on the bottom of my card. Once that's done, you can go ahead and mat that onto a piece of old olive cardstock. This is 4 and 1 8 by 5 and 3 8. And I'm just using snail adhesive. Whoops. So I'm just going to center this onto the old olive cardstock, leaving a small border all around. Okay, so I'm going to slide that to the side for a moment and grab the ornaments that I had previously stamped. So the first ornament, I'm going to use my ornament punch. Again, this is from the Holiday Mini Catalog. And I'm going to center it in the window of the punch and then punch like so. For the second ornament, I only want the center portion. So I'm grabbing my one inch circle punch and I'm going to center that snowflake in the center of my punch and punch that out. I'm now going to grab some Stampin' Dimensionals and I'm going to mount this piece to the back of, or sorry, I'm going to put Stampin' Dimensionals on the back of my one inch circle and I'm going to stick that right onto my ornament piece. Okay, I now need to grab my 1 handheld circle punch and I'm going to use that to punch a hole in the top of my ornament. Like so. Next thing I need is some silver, silver cord and I am going to grab about a six inch piece of cord. It's always better to have too much than too little. And I want to thread that through the hole in the top of my ornament. And I'm just gonna hold that in place, flip my ornament over, and I'm now gonna add some Stampin' Dimensionals. And normally you don't need to add this many Stampin' Dimensionals to the back of your image. But I am going to be later adding some chunky glitter using um, crystal effects and what I find is crystal effects it is a water-soluble glue 
and as you put it on the paper, it will have a tendency to warp the paper a little bit, so I do want to make sure that it's not going to curl downwards too much. So I'm now going to position this over my swirl, and I want to stick the ends of my cord to the top of my Whisper white cardstock. So in order to do that, I'm just using a little bit of scotch tape. And I'm taping it near the top because that part's going to be hidden. So I'm just going to press down really well. And I'm just going to adjust this for a sec. There we go. And then I'm going to go ahead and grab my scissors and trim the ends because I don't want it to overhang the top like so. Now I'm actually going to go ahead and mount that to my card front. And this is real red cardstock. This is a five and a half by four and a quarter inch card front. It's created by taking a five and a half by eight and a half inch piece of cardstock and folding it in half. So like so. So I'm going to slide that to the side for a moment and I'm going to grab a piece of the Merry Moments designer paper. This is our scallop edge punch. I'm going to slide this in until it stops and using the scallops as a guide I'm going to scallop it. Now to get rid of this little piece I'm just going to slide it back in this end, align my scallops with the scallops on my punch and then just punch it. I'm now going to flip this over and add some snail adhesive to either end. And I'm going to grab a piece of real red 5 8 of an inch grow grain ribbon. This is about 6 inches. And I'm going to stick that to the back of that piece. Now I'm going to use the ends of my Stampin' Dimensionals. Whenever I use all the actual dimensionals themselves, I always save the end piece to use for things just like this. on the side here. Oh, these are already split. I didn't have to. Actually, instead of those ones, I'm going to use a bigger one for the side. There we go. You now peel off the dimensionals, or the backing of the dimensionals, And you want to center and stick this to the top of the Whisper White cardstock piece. I'm now going to grab an eight and a half inch piece of real red grow green ribbon and tie it in a knot. Sorry, I don't know how long I said this was. This was an eight inch piece of real red grow green ribbon. And I'm going to tie it at the top in a knot and then trim the ends at an angle. Now the final step to this card is to add the sparkle. So I'm going to take some Crystal Effects glue and I'm just going to squeeze out a gob of it onto my ornament. Now if you find the tip of your bottle clogging, you can use a pin on it. As you can see, I'm putting quite a bit here. And then I'm just going to zoom in so you can see. Oops. You can see I put quite a bit on there. And I'm just going to take a foam brush, and I just got this from my local craft store, and I'm just going to spread out the crystal effects. Because the foam brush itself absorbs a little bit of the crystal effects, you will have to put more on. You don't want it to be too, too thin of a coat because you want the chunky glitter to be able to stick to it. So then just make sure your ornament, you brush the glue all over the ornament, and you coat it well. Because once you've done that, you're going to grab your chunky glitter and I think this is from the sprinkles collection and this is the clear one and you're going to sprinkle it on there and tap it off. And now let's zoom out and there you have it. A beautiful crystally ornament. Well I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and I look forward to stamping with you again.